Let us practice how to factor with fractions. We have four examples here. I will do two of them for you and the others are for you to practice. So we will follow two steps. That is first we will factor each of them and then we will expand to check our result. So let us factor. We have half y minus one fourth. Now this can be factored in two different ways. One, we can factor half which is coefficient of y. The other we can factor one fourth. That is a good practice to always factor out the lowest of the two. So in this case one fourth is a lower number, right? So if I factor one fourth, what do I get? If I factor one fourth, I have to multiply each term inside by four. So first term if I multiply by four, I get two times y, correct? So four divided by two is two. The second term, if I multiply by four, I get one, so I get minus one here. So that is how we get our result after factoring one fourth. Now to check our result, what we can do is, we can apply distributive property and check if it gives us the same expression from where we started. One fourth of two, that means two divided by four, when you multiply, you get half. So you get half y and one fourth times minus one is indeed one fourth. So that is correct. Now that is the process you have to do, factor and then check by expanding. Let us see how to factor the next one. So I'll help you here. It is preferred to factor 1 over 6. Now you could factor 1 over 3 also. In that case you will get here what? You multiply by 3 you get half. So let me do both ways. So let me factor 1 sixth which I prefer. So 1 sixth if I factor I have to multiply each term by 6. So if I multiply this by 6 I get 2x and here minus 1. On the other hand, if I factor 1 over 3, then then with 1 over 3, then within bracket, we have to multiply each term by 3. So we get x for the first term, minus 3 over 6, 3 over 6 is half. We get minus half. Do you see that? So we are left with fractions here. To avoid fractions, it's better to factor with the lower number so that you get multiples right so that is why I was preferring to use the smaller number as a factor as a common factor indeed well that is the standard practice now, I like you to do these two on your own now which one is smaller one fourth so you should factor one fourth in this case and how about here one over fifteen should be factored out so practice with these fractions and then let's do some more Thank you and all the best.